What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about how to unlock the new Magma Camo in Modern Warfare 3, early gameplay of the Vortex event, plus even more, definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, there's plenty of brand new coverage going up over on Detonated.com, for those out there like myself who prefer articles over videos, and plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. Now as a reminder, tomorrow's the official end of the Codmist event inside of MW3 and Warzone, so take advantage of all the Christmas festivities and the in-game challenge event before all that does expire forever. With the end of Codmus does come the introduction of the Vortex event for MW3 MP. In the background, enjoy some of my last bits of Codmus gameplay before we officially say goodbye to all the festive themed maps or game modes and reskins. Also, as a reminder, you can use code DETONATED with altcustoms.com to save 10% off your order, whether it's on a mouse pad, whether it's on a custom keyboard. There's even a New Year's sale going on right now, which will save you additional money and stacks with the discount code. With that, tomorrow is the first major content update of 2024 for MW3, we're getting the Vortex event, which features three remixed maps. The remixes are for Scrapyard, Rust, and even Quarry. We also have the animated Magma Camel, which we'll talk more about in a second. Free Vortex Cosmetic Rewards, or what they call Cataclysmic Rewards. And we, of course, have the Raygun LTM for MP, which will be played on those three map remixes. Essentially, a bit of a prelude for Season 1 Reloaded, which does, of course, go live on January 17th. There's quite a bit of content already packed into that big drop, which I detailed in a previous video that's linked down below. So there's already quite a bit happening in the middle of January, so might as well get Vortex out the way a little bit early and give it its own day in the spotlight since there's quite a bit to enjoy here. But in-game right now, you can see the event tab for Vortex is already visible, and as it mentions, there will of course be a bunch of free rewards you can unlock. This is an XP-based event, meaning that it's like the one we saw for Cod Endowment, the Makarov one, and even the recent Dune one, where all you have to do is play the game, earn XP, and you get free rewards. There aren't any actual challenges you have to complete to go ahead and get the rewards, you just have to play the game and earn as much XP as possible. As it confirms in the event tab, though, you will get a bundle boost. If you guys go ahead and purchase the brand new Warhorse Ultra skin, you will get a bit of a boost towards the progression of this event. The boost isn't very big, though, as we also saw with previous XP-based in-game events. The boost is about, I think, a 1,000 XP extra or a little bit more every time you finish your match. It's really not that much, but the bundle that did release a couple days ago does come with an Ultra skin, a Bass B blueprint, other cosmetics, as you can see here, all for 2,400 COD points. Yes, it's an actual Ultra skin, but like I mentioned before, it's kind of weird to see over the past few weeks that there's a bit of inflation happening in the COD item shop, right? Bundles are pretty expensive now. We're looking at lots of bundles that cost upwards of 24 to 2,800 COD points, when a lot of those bundles don't come with any Tracer blueprints, uh, maybe not that many blueprints, one or two tops, not many cosmetics, and there's even some bundles that have quote-unquote Ultra skins, but the skins aren't very Ultra, like the recent Santa Noss skin, which doesn't really change or is reactive at all, so hopefully we get some clarification of that in the future. Hopefully we get some fixes to existing bundles. And for those out there that care about cosmetics at all, hopefully we can go ahead and see bundles that are maybe priced a bit more fairly in future seasons. But regardless of what you think about bundles or the new Ultra Warhorse skin, regardless of all that, we have this free in-game event for Vortex, and it'll feature about 10 different cosmetic rewards. There's images already that popped up on Twitter from the usual leakers and data miners as to what these rewards are going to be, ranging from an emblem, ranging from a calling card, and of course at the very end you'll get the camo itself. But similar to the previous XP-based events, we need about 213,000 total XP to get all the rewards as a part of the event. Unless that changes, then that should be what you guys could expect going into the event tomorrow. If that does change, I will pin a comment down below with any additional information or context, and you'll also see it over on Detonated, of course. Now, the cool thing about this event is that the actual progress you get is not restricted to the Vortex Raygun LTM that's coming out. You can play any mode you want in the game, and the best way, or the fastest, I should say, to unlock the Magma Camo is to play long matches and get kills or do tons of objectives. So we're talking capturing hard points, domination flags, collecting kill confirm tags, or hey, play long matches of Warzone, Battle Royale, or Plunder while completing contracts, getting other kills, and staying alive as long as possible. You might even be a Zombies player, because in that case, there's tons of opportunities to farm XP by killing hordes in Strongholds, Xvilles, and of course doing contracts. So you guys could probably earn XP rather quickly, but also as a huge reminder, if you guys have double XP tokens available, pop those because yes, they do actually help you towards your progression in an XP-based event like this. And it makes sense, right? It's in the name, a double XP token, and you need XP to progress through this event. So you'll actually fly through this really, really quickly if you just pop those double XP tokens. But even if you don't, it's totally fine. There's still plenty you can do to give you lots of XP per match. Now, the Magma Camel does look incredible and could even be a bit of a callback to Mob of the Dead, right? You know, one of the few zombie maps that really makes you feel like you're in hell, giving you that lava, post-apocalyptic type of environment. 
environment. I mean, the camo is awesome. And on top of that, as I talked about in a previous video recently, there's actually like 12 plus other camos that already leaked out for MW3. And all the usual leakers did post inspect gameplay of what these camos look like. A lot of them are probably tied to a bunch of upcoming in-game events like this one. Some will be dropped as different rewards for upcoming events and crossovers. So there's actually a number of ways that free camos are coming into the game. And I'm glad that one of them is through some of these little challenge events to release every once in a while, whether they're XP based, whether they're actually challenge based, or you have objectives to do in certain modes. Lots of free camos being added in the most we've ever seen in Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2 started that trend. I hope that every COD going forward also continues that because it's crazy to think about how many possible different camos there are that devs can come up with and rehash from older games and form into really cool new ones that gives us more content to grind for with the start of every new season or even the start of every mid season. But the cool thing is that as of yesterday, the embargo actually lifted for Vortex map gameplay. A little while ago, content creators were flown out the sledgehammer to play season one a little bit early, and they already posted their initial videos prior to the start of season one on December 6th, in which they showcased the new multiplayer maps, the weapons, and even some new bundles, as well as the entire battle pass. It was a pretty unusual capture event for very select people. I unfortunately wasn't at that event, but can't make them all, right? That's just how it goes. But they also were able to go ahead and play the new Vortex map remixes, and they didn't get to play the Raygun LTM, the free-for-all type mode, on the remix maps, but they got to play some basic modes like TDM and Kill Confirmed with other creators that were at the events. And I will leave a video down below for those out there that want to see some full-fledged gameplay from a creator like Mr. Dalek or even some others. The maps look absolutely beautiful, unbelievably beautiful. And with that, you can see Dark Ether Jellyfish, Spores, Lava, really cool themes going on with these maps. And I believe Sledgehammer were the ones that actually developed or remixed these maps, I should say. So the crazy thing is that these maps are only going to be available for a limited time along with the Vortex in-game event and the Raygun LTM. Apparently, all this content does go away on January 17th with the start of Season 1 Reloaded. So it's unclear if the maps will be playable still through private matches. Will they end up just throwing these maps into the random pool rotation? I hope so, so that you can play any other mode that you want, whether it's Domination, Hardpoint, uh, you know, TDM. Maybe they'll end up just adding the maps in so that even when the Raygun mode goes away, the maps themselves could still be found randomly, even if there isn't a dedicated playlist for them anymore. Or maybe they even reintroduce the maps in the future with the return of Vortex with a different styled Raygun LTM or some other type of squad based mode. Who knows how, but with all the work that went into how beautiful these maps ended up turning out to be, I would be sad to see these maps only available for 14 days, then they're just gone forever. Hopefully there's a way to preserve that for at least the rest of MW3's life cycle. And if you guys are wondering what the Raygun looks like in multiplayer though, although these creators didn't get to show that, you can actually see gameplay right now of the Raygun being used in MP since some of the cheaters use unlock tools to go ahead and bring the ray gun in early so you can see it's definitely a one shot as it's confirmed to be inside of the vortex mode when that goes live later this week now some criticism that i did see over the last couple of days which i completely understand i saw this criticism on twitter a little bit on reddit comments of videos even streams is that there's more quote-unquote zombies content being added to multiplayer in warzone than actual zombies at least in season one i totally get where you guys are coming from but like i mentioned before on the podcast i would much rather have treyarch working on actual zombies content that isn't just going to be added for a limited time, whether it's for Reloaded, whether it's for the start of Season 2. I'd rather them not be stretched too thin where they have to worry about all these LTMs and holiday events. And rather than put them... I would rather have them focus more on actual big seasonal drops as well as their own game, Black Ops 2024 and beyond. But I do have some confidence that when Treyarch does come out with their own Black Ops game in, what, less than a year from now, they'll put a lot more into the actual zombies mode when it comes to Halloween and Christmas or some random in-game event in between the beginning of a season and the mid-season. Maybe they'll end up doing more, but I think for a game that isn't theirs, I can't really be upset that Treyarch isn't putting in too much time into... Uh, MW3 Zombies for, you know, between seasons. I just would really hope for really strong content drops at the beginning of a season or again during Reloaded. And I also don't think it hurts to see some cool Zombies content in other modes like MP and Warzone since it introduces other players who might not play much zombies or aren't familiar with it introduces them to that lore, that environment, that atmosphere, some gameplay elements that might push them to join the zombies community. I think that's cool. And I also think there's a lot of potential with zombifying certain elements of multiplayer or Warzone, whether it's through LTMs, whether it's through little Easter eggs. I think there's a lot more to be desired when it comes to things like that. And I'm glad that Modern Warfare 3 is really introducing us to a lot of cool things that hardcore zombie fans would come to appreciate, even if it's not in the actual zombies mode. But never say never to an onslaught or a small round based type of experience 
being added onto the map remixes because again it would almost be a waste development time if the maps are only in for one ltm for 14 days if the ltm was permanent that'd be different but when it comes to actual zombies it's a perfect opportunity to give the zombies community some type of you know mindless zombie killing type of mode that doesn't have any easter eggs or quests or objectives only the ability to kill zombies that's perfect for camel grinding and good for those out there that want to break from the big open world extraction based experience but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the brand new magma camel in mw3 how are you feeling about the early gameplay that surfaced of the map remixes plus everything else we discussed really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody